What's up, Word Nerds? It is Thursday, November 10th, 2022. Welcome to Alpha Bento. My name is Lawrence. I'm going to solve today's New York Times crossword by Dan Caprera, and I can already see it peeking out from the background here. We've got an interesting grid going on. Let's jump into it. Uh, let's see the clues I'm looking at highlighted in blue up here above the grid, and also there's the list on the right. Um, but what is going on here? Look at this. Uh, we've got just a standard kind of grid here, like a battleship grid, maybe something like that. I wonder if this, that's what the theme is. Maybe battleship. Uh, these could be different boats here. Something like that. Could be. Well, we'll see what's going on. Uh, we've got out of one's gourd. Um, nuts, maybe. Rodeo ring. Uh, rodeo ring. This might be like a long O, like referencing the O's in the word rodeo. But let's see, animal with webbed feet, sporty car, and Radisson competitor. Hmm. Its behavior is described by quantum physics. So quantum physics describes the behavior of what, atoms or electrons or, or something like that? Quarks? Some, something like that. I'm not totally sure, but it is something to do. It could be atom. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Wow, I'm kind of out of out of luck here with this opening corner. Let's look at 19. Brown shade. And a smelter supply. Maybe that's ore right there. This could be long O. That does play into that. I'm going to put that in for now. Out of one's gourd. Lost? Animal with webbed feet. Otter, maybe? Otters have webbed feet? They could. Although NT doesn't look good. Let's see. Lucy Lawless had one on Xena Warrior Princess. So what did Lucy Lawless have? I think I've only seen Xena Warrior Princess like once. Um, but what did she have? I think she had like a... Like a corset i think she had like a braid or something or like almost maybe like a mullet or something like that she had a um like a disc weapon right that she would like throw hmm <laughs> sporty car oh this could be a coupe loco there we go there we go this still could be otter although ntu again does not look great brown shade Behaviors described. Ah, okay, it's not long O. Because this, I think, is Adam. Oh, a lasso. Okay. Sepia for the brown shade. Radisson competitor Omni. Wow. Hey, look at that. We got the corner. This is a little bit of persistence is, is what it takes. So we've what's what is this? Lucy Lawless had a stun. Oh, a stunt double. No. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Unless it's stunt, stunt, and that is meant to mean stunt double, but then what is the NTST? Let's take a look at some of the crossings before we jump to conclusions there. Uh, how adorable. Aw, maybe? Okay, there's a double U. Could be a stunt double U. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, zeal. And info on an invitation. Where? Diamonds geometrically. Rombi? Outward behavior. Don't know. Mouth mouthy? Mouthy. Kylo Ren. We've got a Star Wars reference today. Ooh, man. Uh, a, a roar, maybe? Stunt woman? And then N2. Ooh, look at that. Coordinates. It is stunt woman. And we've got coordinates right here. N2. So N something is going to be right there oh wow how cool is this 
How cool is this? Uh, Nixon in China. Roll. Don't know. Finsterarhorn, for example. No clue. One given to fawning. A doe, maybe? I don't even know how to s pronounce that. I guess that's a name, but... Uh, Gidroik? I don't know how to pronounce that. Mouthy. Oh, it's not a roar, is it? This is oral. Um, Arger. Ah, that makes much more sense than a roar. Okay, outward behavior. Dem Demonstr... Not demonstrate. Demon... Demeanor. There we go. Mel. Okay. Instrument that superseded the off off lead. Man, all sorts of new words today. This is wild. That's got to be a tuba, right? Farewells, tatas. Um, can we fill in this corner up here before moving on? Maybe not. Many a Disney Channel star, maybe a teen. Look at the downs. A small shell-shaped confection. That's almost a tongue twister right there. Small shell shape. Small. Can you say that three times fast? Small shell shape. Small shell shapes. <laughs> uh, not sure. Medicinal succulent. Aloe. Word with French, British, or Australian. Open. Nixon in China's Mao. That must be an Alp. Which makes sense, horn, because the Matterhorn, which I believe either was in the grid either yesterday or the day before as well, as a clue for Alp as well. Um, there's, what was the one that was in both Monday and Tuesday, or Tuesday and Wednesday both? Oh, it was Gotti. We'll see if that's in there today, because we, we've had a lot of overlap in clues this week, in clues and answers this week. Uh, Madeleine is the shell-shaped confection. MSN competitor, uh, MSN competitor, AOL, is that right? Apt letters missing from assimilated, eight. Uh, core strengthening floor exercises. Core strengthening floor exercises. What, what do you do? Toe, toe touches, toe, Strengthening floor exercises. Hmm. Touch. Not sure. Uh, uh, by the way, at N2 we have a P. Keep that in mind. Uh, okay, let's look at 26, our next um, themed entry here. Fangs. and company don't know swings at a 54 across swings a 54 across at say what is this big feller big feller is this like log or something like you fell a tree and you get a log I don't know let's keep going Brunch, beverage, mimosa. Former, one time. Too true, amen. Beekeeper Shavitz, who lent his name to a popular lip balm. I'm trying to think of lip balm names. Oh, Bert, Bert's Bees, ah. Ah, that's a cool little factoid. Shavitz, Bert Shavitz. All over again. Uh, a new. 2012 Oscar winning role. Oscar winning role for Daniel Day Lewis. 2012. 
would have been what? Was that... Was that There Will Be Blood? No, that was Lincoln, wasn't it? Lincoln. Becomes less green, say. Uh, I don't know. I need a few more letters there. Rupee uh, spenders. So that must be a currency of some kind. But I don't know where that currency is from. Timbuktu's locale, Mali. Let's do it. I'm in. Oops, I'm in. Uh, Dimitri Blank, formulator of the periodic law. No idea. Not confident about. Unsure of. And hold on, I, f I feel like I'm getting a little too far ahead of myself. Cook up, concoct. Can I figure this out now? Oh, canine teeth are fangs. Aha. And then at A9 is our second one. PL. Is it going to be what? Play? Play or what do we think? Any bets? Place your bets now. What do you think it's going to be? Play is my guess. But who knows? Swings. Oh, Hughes, I guess. But I'm still not sure what that means. Elliot, Ness, and company must be T-Man. Becomes less green. Ripens, maybe? Toe taps for the core strengthening exercises. Set up in a way. Set up in a way. And what is that? And hmm. And then Pia. Indonesians maybe. In. <laughs> If I can spell Indo need yeah D1 there Indonesians uh, so D1 is an O oh, I was wrong <laughs> plot hmm. uh, let's see I'm shifting around because my legs falling asleep uh, the Emperor's people in the 2000 comedy the Emperor's new group those are Incans in in Incas uh, like some Insensitive remarks is on PC. Prefix with hotel. Prefix with hotel? What's this? Strawberry Fields underwriter. Oh no. Eco? Eco hotel? Is that a thing? I'm not sure what that is. Sham. Sham. A lie? Uh, ruse doesn't fit. Something like that. Hide. Hide. Hmm. Ugluk or Gorbag in The Lord of the Rings. Probably orcs. Actor, comedian, Eric. Eric. Hmm. Big feller. Neither wins nor losses. Neither wins nor losses. Break. Ah, wins nor loses breaks even. That makes sense. I saw the S there and I was just counting letters and I was like, that's got to be a seven. So I was thinking, what, what could end in even? Breaks even. Neither wins nor loses. I, Re misread that. Enter for one is a key. Recite ritually in cant. Kind of layer. Kind of layer. And AL East team on scoreboards. AL East team. Boston? Maybe? Ozone layer. Grain shaped pause as orzo. And a big hearted sort is a softy. There we go. Eric. Yeah, it's not coming to mind. A kind of tide is a neap tide. 
gopher say an aid? What's spelled out appropriately after mapping the coordinates indicated by this puzzle's circled letters? Oh, I didn't even get to K7. K7 is T. It is a plot. Very good. Uh, a leave alternative is Advil, Doctrine, Credo, and... Oh, Eric Andre, that's right. Part of a doctrine is a tenet. Sham was an act. All right. Very good. We're almost there, guys. Let's see. Smurf with a red cap. Papa. Often backlit sign. Open? Maybe? Big feller? No. Is that right? No, no, no. This is an axe. An axe is a big feller. And uh, swinging an axe is hewing. That's right. Okay. Often backlit sign is... Exit, maybe? American Pie. Yeah, it is Exit. Suzuki product in brief is an ATV. And Mendeleev? Hide his pelt. Yes. There we go. 1557. A uh, pretty smooth Thursday. Not a very difficult Thursday, actually. Um, there was a lot of kind of unusual stuff in here, but nothing super, super difficult. Things that were all pretty gettable after a little bit of thought. I mean, as you saw in that opening corner, the, my first run through of the corner, I had nothing in there almost. But then just taking it a little bit more slowly, I managed to fill it in just fine with no real snags. Uh, and that was pretty much how it was the whole way through. Very, um, very solid. I do just like um, the idea of this... Um, the idea of this theme and what's going on in this grid here. I do kind of wish there was a little more to it or it was done a little bit differently. Um, I think it's a little bit anticlimactic with it just being plot there at the end uh, down here at 62 across. I, I feel like that's it's kind of a missed opportunity. I feel there, so much more could have been done with this idea of having grid coordinates spelling out something. Um, or just uh, doing, as I said at the beginning, as I thought it might be right away, of doing a battleship theme instead of, um, instead of spelling out something, having different boats uh, s circled in the letters, and then like... Um, I don't know, some, some interesting revealer uh, about battleship of some kind um, would have been would have been fun. Although, maybe, you know what? Actually, like, this might have been... If it's going to be a battleship theme like that, that might be one that's better suited for a Sunday crossword, one of the, the larger-sized grids where you can fit a lot more theme into it just to have something a little more... a little bigger, a little more fun. But... Still, nonetheless, I do like the idea quite a lot. I, it is something I have not seen before, I don't think. I don't recall ever seeing anything like this as a theme. And so it definitely gets props for that, for be, just being original, unique, and just like cool to look at. Like when you open up the page, it's just like, whoa, hey, something different. Uh, and um, I love that. So well done, Dan Caprera. That's going to be it for me today. I will be back. At, that's it for this week. Wow. I'll be back next week to do Monday through Thursday's puzzles as always. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps more people discover the channel. Helps the community grow. That's all. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, that was Puzzle. Bye-bye.